Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover up unit handle actions with controllers from the module or our components basics. So this unit here, we are going to work upon the camping list item component. This is the same auto component which we created in the previous unit. And here in this challenge, we will be just making some updates in order to call the controller function. So what basically we are going to do in this challenge uh, is we are going to add one button in the same component camping list item and on click of that particular button, there was this toggle field uh, by the name pad that has to be that has to become true whenever we click on that button and once we click on that button that field become true uh, then that button should also get disabled so let's quickly launch our trailhead playground uh, so you'll get more clarity when we'll come into action so uh, i have already launched my trailhead playground go to setup and open your developer console i'm opening up in the new tab now here I'll go to file and just open up the component, which is camping list item. Here is my component and open this up. Now here uh, I will just simply add one button, lightning button, uh, label will be the one which is provided here in the challenge. So I will just copy this, uh, where it is, uh, this one, packed with exclamatory mark. So I will just copy it and paste this in the label attribute. Then uh, to specify variant, I'll say it is brand. And on click of this button, it should call this function. So how we define uh, what action it should perform on any uh, click of the button or anything. So here I'm going to specify in curly brackets and to access the attributes, we use exclamatory mark uh, with V dot and then specify the attribute. But here in order to call the components, what we'll do is exclamatory mark C dot and the name of the function. So name of the function in our case is pack item. So I will copy this and paste this over here in the after C dot. Then just close this. That's all. Uh, this is how we can uh, declare a button. And this uh, this is nothing, but I have taken the syntax from the component reference library, which I have discussed already discussed in the previous video. So you can uh, check out uh, that uh, you can check out there if you have any confusion about the attributes and anything. So yeah, uh, moving on, uh, we will have the function created. Now, if I just save this and preview this component. So in order to preview this, I have to have my application opened up. So I have already created op application, which is my component app. And there it is, I have called this uh, component or a component from this application. Now, in order to preview this, just click on this preview button on your far right. And this will show me that this, uh, apart from these fields, there is one packed button by the label pack. There is this button coming up over here. Now, as of now, I have not declared that what will happen on click of this. I have just uh, assigned a function over here, which which I have not yet declared. Uh, and it even does not exist till now, right? So I'll go to Aura, uh, this preview, uh, preview component screen. And here, if I will click on this button, this is going to give me an error that this action, we cannot find this pack item action. We have to first define this. So an unable to find action pack item on the controller of camping list item whenever you get an get error always in real time always try to understand what that particular error is saying you will definitely find something in the error some hint where this error is coming and what actually that error is so, so reading errors and understanding uh, the code where that error is coming from is actually a skill. So you ha you should master that skill uh, of debugging and finding out the errors. So moving on, uh, going back to our developer console. Now here, uh, so you can see right now, it is not giving me a very nice uh, user interface. So what I'll do is I'll go to component reference library. 
And here I will go to this first link, Salesforce Lightning Component Library, and I will search for card over here. This is not part of the challenge, but I'm just uh, making this uh, UI a more uh, user friendly and clean. So under all a section, there is this card. And it will open up this lightning card layout, right? So this is the basic card that I'm going to take up. I will copy this lightning card code. And going back to developer console, if you do not want to perform, uh, take up this lightning card code, it's all up to you if you want to continue like only this manner, you can do that as well. Everything will work fine as it is. Now, <clears throat> I'll add this lightning component over here. Now, if you'll notice that there is this button already coming up over here, right? So I will replace this uh, button from lightning card with my button, which is pad. So I'll just cut this from here and paste it on line number 18 instead of a new button. So here my button goes and in the card body i'm just going to place all these four fields data so i'll cut it from here and paste it on line number 17. so Control a and shift tab this will align my code now this is uh this will uh now if i'll just save it and go back to previewing my aura component once it gets saved If I'll just refresh it now, just see the difference how my component is looking now. So this look a little bit much better from the previous one. And here, if you'll notice that there is this card head, uh, card footer coming up. So I'm going to remove this. And also I'm going to change the uh, uh, title of this lightning card. So in order to remove the card footer, I'll just remove this and change the title to handle actions with controller this is nothing but the name of the unit so yeah this is uh just the uh updates that i'm taking up over here now moving on to the controller part what i want now is on click off this function should be called so i will copy this go to your this controller file on your right and instead of my action just paste the one which i copied the function name from the uh component which i've copied now inside this i have to make so whenever this button is clicked what i have to do is i have to make the toggle button packed uh this toggle button true so by default right now it is already true so what i'll do is i'll first of all make it by default false so uh how we uh uh, add default values so from here i'm adding the default value so i'll make this as false saving it and going back to my previewing component so this will just make this by default false so this is coming as false now now here on click of this button then only it should become true this toggle button whenever i'll click on this packed button this should become true and this also should get disabled this button should get disabled right so how we can do that so user clicked on this button this button has been clicked this function will get called now here what i'm going to do is i'll declare a variable say where fetch item is equal to now component dot get is used to get the attributes so say uh, i have this attribute uh, so i want to change the value of packed field on click off button right now this packed field uh, lies in which attribute it lies in the item attribute so i'm going to first take up the item attribute and then i'll access the field from item attribute packed so let's go back to our controller and here i will first of all take up the item attribute now this fetched items fetches the uh, all the fields with its values uh, over here in the fetched items variable now, if you will just console it, I'm not going to console it uh, right now. So if you'll console it, it will give you the all the items with those four fields, name, uh, price, quantity, and pad with its default value if you are going to place console.log after this uh, line number three. Now I have all the uh, values and uh, attributes in the fetched items. Now I want to update uh, on click of button. I want to update the path field to true. So how I can do that, I'll use the dot notation. So I all the items are inside this. 
fetched items dot and then packed is equal to I'll set it to true. Now, if you will notice that this is this was the same thing we were doing over here as well. Using the item attribute, I was access, accessing the fields inside that which I have declared. So item dot name, item dot price, item dot quantity, item dot packed. In the same way, I am calling uh, this item over here and just adding, uh, updating its value to true. Now, what I'll do is I will again uh, set this component using component dot set. We set the values and using component dot get, we get the value. So you can uh, consider it as get a setter method. Now here using again V dot item. So this is the attribute I want to set with the value which I have updated. So fetch items contain the value the, that I've updated. So I'll assign it to over here. Now this, uh, this challenge can be done in multiple ways, but since it is written over here that we have to use event using get uh, source. So that is why I'm doing this uh, in this way. After this, uh, after this uh, code, I will also show you how we can do this in only two lines. In just two lines, this function can also be performed. So I'll show you once it is done. So right now, so let's just declare one more uh, variable, say button click is equal to event dot get source. So event is basically, uh, event is on click of button button click is the event and it is uh, there is this function inside it already defined by the name get source so it will get the source of where, from where or which button has been clicked then after that i will use this variable button clicked to set the disabled value so our uh, pad uh, toggle has been set to true now the last thing that we have to do is make the button disabled so button dot set button click dot set and the attribute v dot disabled, I'm going to make it as true. That yes, I want to disable it. And I will use this attribute in the component to declare it. Otherwise it will say that disabled is not uh, defined. So here I'm going to say aura attribute name is equal to disabled. Type is Boolean. And a default value, I'm going to keep it as default value, I'm going to keep it as false and just put the ending tag. Now this disabled will be applied to this button. So there is this another attribute by the name disabled and I am going to assign the value of the attribute v v dot disabled now this this is the same attribute i have used over here it can be of any other name here uh, for the sake of clarity that user understand what this attribute is doing you can name it abc over here and here this will perform the same way, but make sure you your attribute is disabled because this is a, a predefined attribute which has been linked to buttons, lightning buttons. So you can ju just go to here and also check it um, uh, from this aura component uh, reference library. So if you go to this lightning button under aura section, there is this button coming up. This is the syntax. And if you go to specification, you will find that there is this attribute disabled. So you cannot change this, but you can change the attribute name as per your convenience. So this is the best name, uh, which suggests that, okay, this button is, this attribute is using to disable the button. So I have used this in the button. So whatever value will come up from here. So we are assigning it true on the click of button. So this is going to be set this disable attribute will indirectly set it to true and this uh, button will get disabled. So that's all we had to do. Just save this component as well. Let's go back to our aura component and refresh this. Now this is right now false and our button is also enabled. It's not disabled. So once I click it, this should get true 
and the button should get disabled. So if everything is working fine. So let's just click on this. There you go. This field has been uh, set to true and this button has been disabled. So this was uh, one method you can uh, perform uh, as per this challenge. Now, another button, another way you can use this is just simply adding two lines. So I'll just uh, uh, just console uh, this comment out this code. And what you can do is simply use two component dot set statement, which is component dot set v dot item and to uh, fetch the packed field, I'll use pad underscore underscore c and set it to true. Then I want button also to get disabled. So component dot set v dot disable to true. That's all. Save this. Everything in the component will remain as it is the way it is right now. Just go to aura previewing screen and refresh this. And this will work same the way it was working before uh, with the before code, right? So once I click on this and there you go, this has become true and this button is also disabled. So this there are multiple ways you can perform your functionality with different code. So that's how this was the another way you can perform it. So let's just go with the previous one itself. You can just uh, play around with the code as well on your own. So I'm not going to just, uh, I'll just, comment out this one, save this. So this was all the challenge uh, that we have to perform for this unit. Let's just go back to our uh, unit once it is saved. Yeah, let's go back to unit and click on this check challenge button. Hopefully we should be able to pass it all the parameters in order to pass this challenge. Let's just wait. There you go, this unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Hope I was able to clear all your concepts. If you like our content and videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you.